Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to take a look at how you can use Excel to create random values. This is quick and easy way to generate sample data you might need it for testing or you might need to share your file with someone who you don't want to see your actual data. I'm going to show you three different functions in Excel to generate random numbers and you can choose any of these depending on which works best for you. So let's get to it. The first function that I'm going to show you is called rand function. It actually generates values between 0 and 1. Let me illustrate it is equal rand close the bracket enter and now you can simply hold this little green square and drag it down to wherever you want and there we are you can see we have our random numbers generated right over here. Now if you click on F9, you can see these number gets changed to give us a new value. In order to avoid this problem, what you can do, simply copy this data and paste it right over here as a value. And there you are. You can see now they are just numbers and there is no formula behind them. And pressing F9 or refreshing your file won't change their value. So this is the first way to generate a sample data consisting of decimal values. Now let me show you the other function that is called rand between function. Let's see how this works is equal rand between. Now over here in the description down at the bottom, we have been given the options to choose numbers between two values, bottom and the top. Bottom means the minimum number and the top means the maximum number that you want in your data. Let me put in the bottom number to be 10 and the top number to be 100. Close the bracket, enter and simply drag it down and there you have it. We have these random numbers generated between 10 and 100. You can extend it to as many rows as you want. And again, the problem with this data is that if you press F9, it would keep on changing. And the solution is again the same. Simply copy it and paste it as values. Now let's get to the third function. This particular function is called rand array function. And it must be noted that if you want to use this function, you need to have Microsoft 365 or you can use the web version of Microsoft to generate random number. Let me illustrate it is equal rand array. Now right over here you can see we have been given the choices how many number of rows we want and similarly we can choose the number of columns the minimum value in our data and the maximum value and likewise whether we want our data to have integer or decimal values. Let me put in 100 rows 15 columns the minimum value that I want is 10 maximum 1000 and let's put in two for integers and if you want to have decimals then you can put in false true close the bracket enter and there we are now you can see we have 100 rows and 15 columns and the data depicts the value between 10 to 1000 and similarly if you press f9 the numbers keep on changing and the solution to which you already know. Simply copy and paste it as a value. And that's it for today. I hope you have found this tutorial useful. Please give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.